Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey, Mania Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. We'll get into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. The BUILD Framework, a heart-based system for personal and professional growth. It's by John Peetzman, and I apologize profusely for mispronouncing your last name. I've never heard it before, so I just took my best shot. Anyway, um, this book is sort of like back in the 80s when we had um, new books out on management, the uh, uh, In Search of Excellence and the One Minute Manager, how all of these, both of these books and others were telling us, reminding us of some common sense things, things we should have known that we really did know, but we just kind of lost sight of. Well, I think In Search of Excellence talks about a uh, blinding flash of the obvious. And it can be. Some of these things really can be obvious, like building relationships with your customers, your clients, and uh, other people. That should be obvious, but it isn't always. We lose sight of it. And this book, it's very short, um, just over 100 pages long. You probably read it, you know, grab it, get up from your desk, grab it, and by the time you flush, you pretty much read a, a huge chunk of the book percentage-wise, maybe even all of it. Uh, it depends on how long you spend away from your desk. Anyway, it's very well written. It's got some different anecdotes in it, some stories that kind of help um, illustrate his point and lighten the mood at the same point in time. Now, it's not like the management du jour that you used to uh, have hit you every time you turned around, every time the corporation turned around, they were coming in and putting up posters and handing out tote bags and people were getting around singing the the chant for the whatever the new management program it was that you had and uh, having their buttons and that sort of thing and contests and after about a half of a year, maybe a full year, all the binders were gone, they were being used for the kids schooling or whatever, but uh, nobody was ever paid any attention to it. It really didn't change things. Now see, that's the thing about a book like this. If you read it, you understand it, you pass it along, if people really grab a hold to the concepts, it'll change things. It won't be like that um, management du jour that you, you saw. It won't be that everybody sticks it on the back uh, burner, that sort of thing. But that all really depends upon the way that it's presented and how leadership uh, actually does it themselves if they follow along and they um, really speak to the progress and that sort of thing. I think it's very well written. It's a wonderful book. Like I said, it's a very thin read, very light read. And so, you know, you'll be able to, to read it in no time and be able to actually apply it. And we thank you. Wow, Gindy, you read another management book? Mm, yeah. Wow, uh, as many management books as you've read by now, you ought to have all the management memorized and stuff like that. Well, not really. I have read a lot of management books, and uh, they all have a, a little bit um, to help. A little, they all offer a little bit of help and uh, insight, and this one is uh, right there with the others. It, you know, it has a lot of good help and insight, and uh, we think that everybody that's in management, everybody that's in some sort of leadership in business, should pick this up. And it also works in your personal life. Wow, your personal life? Yeah. I don't have one of those. Oh, well, maybe one of these days, Gindy will get ahead. Anyway, thank you, people. And drop me an email and let me know how much you like me. Thank me. I mean, thank you. Bye! Ready to order? Click the link below.